I often talk about feeling inspired on this channel, and I feel like that's because us as creative minds, we don't often get reminded of the capability that we're able to do. Yeah, we can sit down and watch a YouTuber, and yeah, they can tell us how we can go follow and be a YouTuber, but really, when you want to put your mind to something, you are able to do whatever you want. And gaming is a powerful tool. I was lucky enough to be born in 1995 and really see the boom of this industry. The fact that it's where it is right now is completely mind boggling. But maybe you're a musician and you're currently creating music that you've always wanted to hear, or maybe you're a game developer crafting your own world to inspire others like you was inspired as a kid. Today I want to actually explore the power of video games and how they inspire us all. Growing up in the early 2000s, you've probably most definitely heard of Jackass and Dirty Sanchez. A bunch of friends getting together and doing nothing more than just dangerous tricks and daring each other to do the most stupid, outrageous things. They mostly became popular through the skate scene and obviously being seen on magazines and of course having that influence on people who were growing up in that sort of environment. This reckless and often life-threatening style inspired somehow a whole generation of teens and kids like myself. Setting fires, eating disgusting things and just not caring about your own well-being was, well, the coolest thing at the time. I just wanted to be just like Jackass. But why? Why did something so dangerous inspire so many millions? Well, being inspired is just a natural reaction that is inside all of us. It feels like we're connected to something on such a more of a personal level that it makes us want to go and follow our own dreams and even take up what we're seeing currently on screen in media or even reading in a book. But according to psychologists, it's made up of three different stages. Evocation, transcendence and motivation. We must first be invoked by whatever subject we've taken an interest to, whether that be a song, gaming, or just the way your personality goes across with other people. But then most importantly, there's transcendence, that feeling of our normal day-to-day -day life and having to get away from it. We often sit there and think maybe we can't become the next Freddie Mercury or even Markiplier, and we can't see ourselves in a totally different situation than whatever we're doing right now. It often puts us out of that comfort zone, and that's why that comfort zone exists. We have to transcend and get past this point to be able to continue moving forward and following our dreams. And then this is followed by motivation and well that just gets the ball rolling everyone knows what motivation is. So where does Jackass fit in all of this? Well going back to transcending, all they're doing on a day to day is using a cheap camera in their own houses, gardens, wherever they want to be and doing whatever they want for free. Every kid has exactly that same ability that they offered everybody else. We had our own cameras and all we had to do was pick up a BB gun and pull the trigger. It's why people are so easily swayed into getting into sports or even acting. Because it doesn't take much to get out of the mindset where it's really the work that needs to be put into. That transcendence part is such an important part in playing in the inspiration. That jackass was practically always at rock bottom so it was easy to mimic and it was always easy to see yourself being just like them. Imagine being a kid, owning a PlayStation 1 and having a chance to play fantastic games like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Seeing Tony Hawk doing all these actual tricks in real life on TV and in footage that they use within the game, it's just so easy to get inspired to make kids easily want to go outside and pick up a skateboard and start skating and indulge in all the grunge. I was very inspired by skateboarding growing up and personally Skate 3 is probably one of my favourite games that EA has ever made. It makes you learn all the physics and the mechanics of the game. Every single trick is done by a simple analogue control that you have to learn and master. And of course, seeing something as simple as skating around on a skateboard, which most kids commonly did during the 90s and early 2000s, it wasn't hard for that child to transcend into that moment of, hey, I can be a skater. Which I couldn't, I, I was terrible at it. I, a lot of cuts and bruises. Don't, don't do skateboarding unless you're sure you can do it. <laughs> but seeing how easy it was to make your own film within Skate 3, that's when I really started getting inspired. Knowing that you have to learn to play the game to make a clip that's actually worth watching in the Skate 3 community. So failing a stunt and coming back to it and doing it over and over again to plan that perfect shot proved why I loved and have a burning passion for editing. And I spoke about this in my photography video so I'm not going to go into as much as a detailed breakdown as I did then. If you want to see that video there's a link in the description down below so please feel free to check it out if you enjoyed this video. But being able to have control of your own sets, your own actors, the camera angles, the lighting, the focus made it all so much easier for my creative mind to transcend in the moment. To be scared of the industry and taking steps is a really big risk and you can understand why people fail to transcend or even get motivated to continue to push forward there because they can't afford the high-tech computers that they needed to render the clip or they couldn't afford an expensive camera. But in gaming it allows us to do all this with just a touch of a button. 
and that's why gaming is so inspiring. Playing Guitar Hero, and I know for a fact that Guitar Hero changed a lot of people's opinions on playing an instrument, gave people a chance to get familiar with music and rock and roll. Throughout the boom of rock band and Guitar Hero, people were inspired to pick up drumsticks and guitars and give it a go. It was nothing like playing a real instrument, but it was a start, and that's a fantastic little push that most people need. Also, music in video games has the ability to inspire us all. I reckon I probably started playing the piano solely because of Silent Hill's soundtrack. Or even when you load up fantastic games like Halo and you hear the fantastic orchestral pieces just in the main menu, it blows your mind and you can understand why it can be so powerful and inspiring. Or even the wonderful menu music of Orca Arena of Time, it just makes you take a moment and think and sit there and enjoy it. It makes you feel many emotions and most often it probably inspire you to do something like, well, pressing the start button. <laughs> More and more we're seeing game developers actually put in a creative tool to allow players to create their own experiences and levels and even game modes throughout their games. Gaming has honestly changed the way that we have to challenge our creative doubts. We're no longer at a point where we can't see ourselves doing something for the future because it's right there in front of us. The first time I was able to jump into Far Cry's map creation tool I was blown away. This is a staple of the series that we see today allowing players to create communities, game modes and even exciting maps. Halo's Forge World created some of the most memorable game types that even Bungie and 343 took in board and actually put on their own Halo games. Dreams on the PS4 has shown the pure passion of creative gamers. There has been games made new, fresh and even remade which shows the endless possibilities that you're able to do in Dreams. And game devs like to sit there and study what people are able to make and even let people learn their own engines and out of this most people even get a job because they realise hey people are pretty good. <laughs> I remember playing racing games like Forza or even Project Gotham Racing and being super inspired by driving. I owned a steering wheel and only played the game in manual cockpit mode and I was so impressed and just in love with the idea of driving. Also before you say I know video games and driving in real life are nothing alike, I'm just saying I, I, I like the idea. Now I don't drive and I know for a fact that if I could drive I would probably love every single moment I'm able to spend on an open road because I remember just driving around in these racing games and having a good time with it. Maybe it's not always about being artistic and learning lessons from gaming, but they also help us understand certain things about ourselves a little bit more. Games like Journey, Death Stranding, A Night in the Woods and many more can teach us important lessons about taking in a moment and just thinking about yourself, what emotions you're feeling and how you're dealing with them, how you want to handle them and how you want to keep pushing forward through this moment of difficulty. Playing through Death Stranding actually inspired me to walk a little bit more, walk to work and walk back and just take in the walk and enjoy the sounds and the views especially when I'm walking at 4 o'clock in the morning. I asked people both on Twitter and Reddit what inspired them and I found an amazing amount of results where people said that Stardew Valley or even Animal Crossing made people want to start farming and decorating their environments a little bit more. And I think that's just such an incredible way to be inspired by a video game and it shows that playing video games you're not going to be stuck inside but actually you want to express more and explore more outside of gaming. Or even playing VR where it physically and actually inspires you to get a little bit more active. Playing games like Beat Saber or Pistol Whip or even just normal games like The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners requires a lot of work and requires a lot of, well, activity from your body. And that's a fantastic mindset to get into, especially when video games seem to be so connected with people, well, getting a little bit chunky. So to be inspired to lose weight by a video game is fantastic and I think it's something that people need to really look into a little bit more and endure because it is worth your time, especially when you get something out of it like feeling good about your own body. And to really get on a very personal note here, I often felt like it was a great way to express a more feminine side at a time when I was stuck at home and I wasn't able to well, come out to people or even feel confident about who I wanted to become. To be able to play games like Saints Row or even the Elder Scrolls game and make a female character or make a male character who would wear female's clothing gave me a sort of new impression and gave me an idea of what I think I would want to wear when I'm older. It sort of gave me that little escape that I knew one day I'll be able to reach. I don't know if anybody else can relate with me on this but I think it's something that's extremely personal if you feel like a video game can help you escape whatever trauma you're feeling it's fantastic that that has that personal connection with you and for me that's probably one of the most personal and favorite moments i had when playing video games knowing that i had this little connection that not many people would have understood there are hundreds of ways that we get inspired and I just want to tell you that it's okay to be yourself. Embrace what you think is most important and most interesting to you because most often than not that's the career you're going to want to take and that's going to help you become the person you want to be. Whether it's in or out of gaming you're able to express that side of yourself. So why not go for a little walk? Why not jump on a skateboard? Start riding your bike a little bit more? Grow a garden? Create a painting? Create music? Create art? And maybe most importantly you end up creating a world one day which will end up inspiring 
millions of others where it doesn't take much effort for us to transcend very much like I was inspired by Jackass. Thank you so much for watching. I didn't have this video planned for this week, so I'm sorry if this felt like it was a little rushed. I wanted to just get something out, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys felt inspired. What games inspired you growing up? Did Mario Sunshine all of a sudden make you want to clean paint every single second? I don't know, but tell me, please. I would love to hear your stories, and I'd love to hear exactly how you felt inspired. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and of course, I'll see you at the next checkpoints. Bye-bye.